Hello guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. In today, we actually gonna do some pretty cool things. We are going to, or I'm going to show you, um, which is my top three of the DLC horses in total. Therefore, but I decided to keep it to a top three because otherwise, if you want to do a top four, well, it's sort of like a top four, but I'm just gonna show you the three of them um, that I like the most. Um, and yeah, I think there's gonna be great for you. Okay, so for my number four, I actually went with the Cloud Trooper. Um, I just really like this horse. It's not as good as other horses on this uh, top three or top four, this whatever you want to call it. Um, but I just, in general, it's a good horse, it's a stable horse. Uh, and as you can see, these are the stats when it's fully maxed out, where it's actually a level four. Actually, some decent, uh, decent things. It's the only horse that actually has 10 health and 10 stamina, which is great, uh, especially for a war horse. Um, do I recommend this horse? Yes, I do recommend this horse. But the other horses on this list are like i feel they're a lot better but if you're more like a guy that just shoots around and and has a good time of stamina and don't mind being a little bit too late to or a little bit slower then this is definitely the horse you want to keep in mind um overall the looks of it it's a cool look uh, I, I get why people say the head looks kind of weird but uh, overall i think it's a, it's a decent horse and it looks cool in general so i'm just going to show you some gameplay with the horses the fact that as you can see I'm able to keep like control of him fully and he's actually pretty stable and he doesn't do anything crazy uh, which is a good thing about this horse and I actually like the cool thing about this horse I think personally is that with the 10 health and with the 10 stamina like I said it's the only horse that has it and you see me shoot or miss a couple times I actually die here which is kind of kind of stupid um, but the cool thing is that like I said it's the only horse and you definitely feel that in the horse when you know, like you shoot in your gunfight some horses tend to die pretty easily and this one actually actually don't think he ever died on me uh, in a fight or in a in a mission uh, when i was riding my horse and shooting my horse so that's definitely a good thing that you can keep in mind too um you can actually buy this horse again once you level up your uh i think it's from the trader missions i'm actually not sure which one it is but um it's just a dlc and this one the level four they have to be level 20 of your dlc rolls all of the horses have to be level 20 if you want to buy the lower ranking horses like the level 10 and the level or the level 1 and the level 10 um, I don't recommend that but if you like if you cannot wait def definitely need a new horse or something like that you're desperate for a new horse then go for it it's not gonna be as good as this horse or it's not gonna be as good as the other horse in the list but again if you really want a new horse then just go ahead and do it but I recommend waiting for the level 20 horse just because you know it's only a horse that has 10 health and 10 stamina when you max it out. Stamina and speed, of course the speed you can work on. Um, and the acceleration, I mean you can also put that together with some nice stirrups and saddles. Then you can definitely have that a little bit boosted up. So it's definitely a good horse when you max it out fully. Um, and I definitely recommend this. Okay, so for my number 2, I actually went with the Criello. Um, I just really like this horse, as you can see. These are the basic stats that you can buy it with. What you also can see is that the horses have a discount. I actually recorded this video like two weeks ago. Um, I never actually had the time to, to talk over it and talk about it. Um, so that's why it's a little late than normal. So again, the Criello, nice horse. Definitely one of the better looking horses on this list. Um, I, I just really like this horse in general, how it looks, how it feels. This is probably my go-to horse if I just wanna like roam around. Uh, or ride around a little bit in a, in a different cities or in different towns and just want to have some fun, you know, check out some wildlife hunting maybe even. It's not the best horse for like fighting, shooting and all that. Um, as you can see, when you go and get the level 4 horse or when you upgrade it to level 4, when you ride it to level 4, then you get 9 health and 10 stamina, which is actually really good. Again, the 9 health is, is, is good, you know, it's probably one of the better horses out there. Um, but you definitely feel the difference between this one and the Clodrooper in, in the help apartment. Um, again, this horse is mainly just for riding with speed. It's it's stable, but it's not as stable as, let's say, the Clodrooper or the Breton, for example. There are better horses in stableness, but again, I just mainly use this horse for riding around, uh, showing how it is, or showing the world a bit, or just doing some things with my posse. And if I, if I need to be fighting, or if I need to shoot someone, then I'm definitely stepping off this horse. It's not that stable. It will definitely um, 
definitely know that once you try to do some shootings with it, once you actually go and do some fighting with it, then you know you feel like you cannot control the horse and you definitely you either we're gonna get kicked off or you're just gonna die because you cannot move the way you want it to move. Uh, so that's a big difference between this horse and the other one. But also the cool thing, like I said, this horse probably has the coolest coats in my opinion I just I just like the coats of this horse especially the coat I'm riding right now I think I have no idea what this coat is called but it's just an amazing coat I really like the coat again you can check out the other horses or the other coats um, in other videos as well I think I showed them all I'm not sure even but I think I did so you can um, check that out there if you want to buy this horse and get some new coats in it again the level one is good the level 10 is good if you really want a good horse, I recommend you wait and uh, get yourself to level 20 because this one is definitely the better horse of them all. Again, the, all the level 20 horses are better, but I feel like if you really want to buy this horse or if you want to buy this breed, then you should definitely wait because you definitely feel the difference between a level 10 one and a level 20 one. It's, 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 it's a big difference to be honest. It's a really, it's a really big difference, so you definitely have to wait um, for that one if you like that one. Overall. Should you buy this horse? Yes, again, the top the, the one or number one I'm going to show you in a bit is definitely my favorite of the these all horses. Uh, just to use in general, but I like this one. It's my, this one is actually my go-to horse, like I said, to just riding around, having some fun with my friends and all that. Just driving or riding in a, in a beautiful country over here and uh, doing some doing some missions, doing some landscape viewing. Okay, so for number one, I actually decided to go with the Breton. Um, the reason why, you're wondering why Norfolk Roadster is not in this list. This is actually my, the Norfolk Roadster is my fourth place. Um, the reason why I put him in the fourth is because he's actually pretty much the same as the Criello. The only difference is the Criello has one less acceleration, has more health and I prefer accelerate or I prefer health than acceleration so that's why he's the number four and I will not show him this list because it's pretty much the same horse just a different coat um, so this is the Breton this is the max stats of the Breton 10 health 9 stamina or 10 stamina and 9 health and the speed is 6 and you can bump that up to a level 8 or to 8 speed and the acceleration is 4 and you can get that to 6 this is probably the best horse in the game. Um, if you max it out with saddles and stirrups, this is definitely the best horse in the game. It's stable, it's fast, it does have a lot of health, it has a lot of stamina. It's, like I said, it's, it's just the best horse in the game. I like it. The only thing I don't like about this horse is probably the size of it. It kind of looks, or it is kind of small. It doesn't look small, but it is small compared to other horses. The Glad Trooper, for example, is a massive horse. And this one is just a small horse. That's the only thing I don't like about it. And that's the only thing I think a lot of people of you don't like about it. I actually died up there again. Which is kind of it's kind of stupid that I die. Um, yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about it. It's just so small. And I think you probably won't know the same thing. Or probably feel the same thing. Or same way about this horse. But... For the rest, the horse is just an outstanding horse. It's stable, like I said, it's fast, it's, it has a good stamina, it's good health. It's just an all round cool looking horse. Um, again, the coats, yeah, they're, they're, they're cool looking coats, but in general, I don't, I, there's nothing too special about the coats, you know, they're just coats. They don't look as cool as, say, like the Criello or something like that. Um, I wish they kind of did something more with the coats, but I get that feeling that they want to get with this coat you know it's more of a war horse this horse it's more of a horse you want to keep in and want to go and shoot some people with and you want to go and do some missions to it where you have to be in a gunfight all the time um that's mainly the reason for this horse if you want to use it for other than other than missions other than shooting missions then go ahead because this horse is like i said it's a fast horse it's good health it's good stamina it's just an all-round good horse and i definitely recommend you pick up this one um, if you want to pick up the level 10 one then do so it's a good horse as well the level one is a good horse as well but overall the level 20 is an amazing horse so that was it for my list if you have your own list or if you feel others other way than that then definitely leave it in the comment section down below thanks for watching guys um again i actually recorded this video like two weeks ago um but just didn't have time to to record it that's why you probably saw the um discourse or the discounts on the horses that's the reason 
if you're wondering why the answer is. I don't think it's still still part of the game, those discounts. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, then definitely like and subscribe. Um, I'm probably going to upload this week again, so definitely stay tuned for another video of that one. I'm also going to upload more videos, like more other videos, um, other things and all that, uh, other games and all that stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you all in my next video. Stay good out there, guys. See you later. Peace.